Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you like these movies, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified. In a previous movie, I looked at lighting and I used this object here. I edited this object. Now, I use a quick way usually, which is to double click, or there's a keyboard shortcut, which is Command or Control plus the square bracket, the open square bracket. If you look up here under Modify, Edit Group, or edit extrude you can see it's here it's listed so I was showing this example here and I was in a wireframe view let's go to a wireframe view let's go to edit that group so I'm going to step inside it and I was using this example here where you could see a ghost image of all the other information and I decided I didn't want it and I didn't tell anyone how I did it but I actually used this button up here which is the quick preference for show other objects while in edit modes now just up here we've got our preferences button if we have a look at our vectorworks preferences one of the vectorworks preferences under display is to show other objects while in editing modes and you can gray those other objects or not if i turn that off i find it very confusing because i can't tell what's inside the group and what's outside so let's go back to that and we'll grab other objects and this is the show other objects while in editing modes now if you go to your quick preferences options here and you choose show other objects while in editing modes this little icon will appear I'll show you I'll make it disappear there it is it's gone and let's make it come back again and there it is here it's ended up down this end what's this one here this is auto display level for detail but this is the one click on it you can see other objects while in editing modes and they're behind the gray turn it off and it just hides everything and you could just focus on that group so why would you want to do that let's go and have a look at a site model I've got a site model I've got a bunch of rocks here let's have a look there's my rocks down here let's say I need to edit those rocks first of all let's double click so we go inside the group we'll select everything I need those rocks to sit on my site model so we'll go AEC terrain and center surface so it'll pop up let's exit my group and what we should find is my rocks are now sitting on my site model so let's say for example I want to edit these rocks there's quite a lot of them I've put them all in a group so when I double click um, I'm on my group I double click I can see inside my group um, let's turn that off you can see the, the site model is kind of hard to see because it's all sort of ghosty and there's not a lot of um, data that you can read but it makes it quite handy to put that into a group so you can edit these individually you can play with the scale of them I can move them around I can go to a plan view I can move them all nice and neatly it's much easier to do that then I exit my group and I can see everything again so I use groups quite a lot just to collect stuff together or collect information together so that I can deal with it in one chunk so I tend to chunk stuff together so in this garden here that table and chairs one group I think my pergola might be a group uh, is there a group here yeah that's a group as well so let's step inside the group and let's hide everything else and so that's my pergola it allows me to deal with my pergola I added some lights to my pergola it was quite handy to be able to add those and I'll change their height to five feet so it was quite handy to be able to just work on that without seeing everything else I want to see everything else so I can see where it's where everything is and then I can say I don't want to see everything else and of course I can exit the group and then I can see absolutely everything and if I render the view I'll see what the rendered image looks like so someone was asking about this so that's my answer I use this button here show the objects while in groups turn it on or turn it off and it's really handy also works when you're in a viewport I'm not sure if I've got a garden view here there we are so if I go into here and I and I double click and I'm inside my viewport and I want to see how this viewport relates to other information I can turn that on and I've got this ghost image I can see the other viewport information or I don't want to I can turn it off so it works in multiple places